Now, if you grew up in the South Bay or raised kids there, chances are you probably went to Raging Waters at least once. It's been a summer staple for nearly four decades. Not anymore. The owners announced today the park is closing for good, and the news came as a shock to employees. But Andrea Nakano reports lifeguards weren't the only ones caught off guard. So was the city. Ronit Prasad has been a lifeguard for the last three years. This year, he was presented the Golden Lifeguard Award and had hoped to come back next year. The news of the closing was sudden and shocking. I was just surprised, a little taken back. Prasad says there was chatter about Raging Waters in San Jose closing after the one in Sacramento shut its doors last year. But he wasn't prepared for this news on Wednesday. A lot of us don't know the reasons. It was all pretty sudden. Uh, there was no official letting us know through any official channels. We all found out through social media. San Jose City Council member Domingo Candelas has fond memories of Raging Waters himself. As a representative of the district, he says the city has been working with Palace Entertainment to come up with a vision for the future of Cunningham Lake. This um, was 30, the year 39 of a 40-year lease. Uh, that we had um, with the current operator. And we were actually in the process of, of coming up with um, uh, an RFP for uh, what kind of uh, fun or entertainment or community amenity uh, we can have in the area. While there are rumors of potential projects to replace Raging Waters, Council Member Candela says right now all options are on the table. We have to be able to explore uh, anything and everything to keep our options open as a, as a city. You know, it, it could be a theme park. It could be another water park. It could be, you know, I, I don't want to limit uh, our thinking. This water park will not be only missed by those who floated on the river and dare to go down the scariest water slides. It brought in a lot of summer jobs, especially for local teens. Endless memories were made here and countless memories were made here. And it's just all worrying of like, where are we going to go next? The mayor says potential investors are already exploring new recreational uses for Lake Cunningham.